The beautiful nation of Namibia in the southern region of Africa has this salient that sticks out at the northeast corner of the country, called the Caprivi Strip. The wildlife-rich area once tried to secede from Namibia to no avail in 2000. This begs the question, what if the Caprivi Strip successfully separated from Namibia, becoming its own independent nation? Will it affect Namibia and could it thrive? This is what we'll discuss today on Africa Assembly. By the way, be a friend and subscribe, click the notification button to never miss our videos and like this video to help us make more content you love about our awesome continent. Let's dive in. A brief history on the Caprivi Strip goes like this. The Caprivi is named after Leo von Caprivi, a German chancellor who negotiated this piece of land with England during the colonial period because he wanted to have an access to the Indian Ocean for trade and transport. He gave up Zanzibar for this, but it later backfired because the end of the panhandle touches the Victoria Falls, which cuts off the access to the ocean. This 20 mile wide piece of land is almost a literal separation from Namibia, as it has a history of segregation and a secession attempt. Fast forward to today and the Caprivi is home to two of the 14 regions of Namibia, while also being a wildlife haven. So what if the Caprivi Strip became its own country? This would mean that the Zambezi and half of the Kavango East region would merge to create its own country. The name of the country would most likely become Itenge, which was its intended name at the failed secession. It would not become the smallest nation in Africa. However, its population would be one of the lowest in Africa, maybe about 100,000 people. The national language would probably be Lozi, as it's mostly inhabited by the Lozi people. Katima Melilo would be the capital as it's the largest settlement in the Caprivi. As a nation though, Itenge would struggle. Even if the people of Itenge would be happy to be independent, they would struggle as the Caprivi is one of the least developed parts of Namibia. Agriculture is a common profession, but it's dependent on the weather and seasons. Due to the rural nature of the Caprivi, the new country would have to renovate its local airport to become international. It would have to create its own currency, which would probably be the Namibian dollar. Like other countries, Itenge would have to create its own army, laws, constitution, passports, healthcare system, security, and a plethora of other identities, which would be difficult as unemployment is high in the region, and many children do not even have easy access to education. The topography of Itenge would also make it difficult to urbanize the region, as there are flood waters, sand beds, marshes, and dense forests. Another setback would be the HIV AIDS situation in the Caprivi region. The rate of the disease in the Zambezi region is higher than most other parts of Namibia. This would be an issue the nation would have to tackle immediately before it becomes an identity of the nation. Though it seems bleak, this would be a perfect launching pad to improve the current situation. Free healthcare and education may not be difficult as the population would not cause a strain on these valuable amenities. Turning attention to agriculture and tourism would boost the economy of the nation to the point that it could find another source of revenue eventually. The elephant in the room would be how Namibia would react to this. Though showing interest by the quelling of the previous secession attempt in 1999, Namibia has not done much to try to improve this region, knowing its potential. However, Namibia would know what it would be losing from the point of agriculture and tourism. In conclusion, the Caprivi becoming independent would be a long and hard road to success, as the country would have to take all the right checks to be recognized as an independent nation. However, with a strong work ethic towards promoting agriculture and tourism, the country could be a decent country to visit or invest in. Now we turn the question to you. Do you think the Caprivi could thrive as an independent nation? Share this with a friend and drop a comment if you disagree or would like to request a video. Till then brothers and sisters, Nita Kubona.